Hello and welcome to this learning video. We have just seen the definition and the properties of uh, definition of mathematical expectation and properties on variance. Now in this learning video we are going to solve a problem on discrete random variable and mathematical expectation. Okay and for this you have to you need to remember this result that we are going to make use of. Okay so what is given to us here? So we are given that, what is given? Yes, we are given that f of x is equal to, we can write like this, given f of x equal to this. What we have to find out? We have to find out the mathematical expectation. So by the definition, by the definition, what is mathematical expectation? The mathematical expectation of x is equal to, what is it? Summation x equal to 1 to infinity x into f of x right so substitute so we'll be getting x1 f of x1 plus x2 f of x2 plus x3 f of x3 plus and so on okay now substitute the values what is x1 x1 is 1. So when you put x is equal to 1, you will be getting f of x1. So 1 by 2. What is x2? 2. And when you put x is equal to 2 over here, you will be getting 1 by 2 square. Plus x is equal to 3. x3 three is 3. So 1 by 2 q and so on. Okay. So what you can do is you can take uh, 1 by 2 common from all the terms. As you can see, 1 by 2 is common. So, 1 by 2 is common from all the terms. So, you remain with 1 plus 2 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 square plus 4 into 1 by 2 cube and so on. So, as I said that we are going to make use of this result that is the binomial expansion, right? So, it is like 1 plus 2x plus 3x square and so on. So what is x? x here it is 1 by 2. So using this I can write 1 minus 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 power minus 2. Okay. So now you can write this as 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is again 1 by 2 power minus 2. You can write this one as 1 by 2 into 1 by 4. It is like 4. Okay, 1 upon 1 by 1 by 4. 1 upon 1 by 4 is 4. Okay, so we have answer comes out to be 2. So my expectation of x here in this problem is 2. Simple. So now uh, we can take one more problem on this. A bigger one. <laughs> So let me write down that problem, a lengthy problem, but it's an easy one. So you just need to uh, remember what is uh, where to use uh, summation for where, whether the problem is of discrete random variable or whether the problem is of continuous random variable. So example number two, which says a random variable x is defined as a random variable x is defined as is defined as f of x is defined as x is equal to what is it minus 2 then we have 3 and then we have 1 minus 2 3 and 1 x is equal to okay and corresponding probabilities are given to us. Probability, let me write like this. Probability is equal to 1 by 3, 1 by 2, and 1 by 6. This is given to us, okay? And we have to find out, find number 1, expectation of x, Number two, variance of, no, not variance, okay. Expectation of 2x plus 3 
third one is expectation of x square next is expectation of expectation of x square plus 5x next is expectation of 2x plus 7 expectation of 2x plus 7 plus expectation of x square sixth one is variance of x and the last one is last one is standard deviation of x so these many things we have to find out in this problem so let us solve one by one we are given that x is equal to x having value minus 2 3 1 and the corresponding probabilities are 1 by 3 1 by 2 and 1 by 6 so let us solve one by one what we have to find out first we have to find out expectation and we know that for discrete random variable we know that we know that expectation of x is nothing but summation of x f of x okay now you should substitute the values for x is equal to minus 2 we have probability 1 by 3 for x is equal to value 3 we have probability 1 by 2 and for x is equal to 1 we have probability 1 by 6 okay so when you solve this we'll be getting expectation of x to be 1 so this is what we get the expectation of x as 1 now let us find out the second one so second one is expectation of 2x plus 3 so how one can find out expectation of 2x plus 3 so 2 times expectation of x plus 3 what is expectation of x just we have found out the expectation of x as 1 so this is like 2 into 1 plus 3 that is 5 okay now you can find out the expectation third one that is expectation of x square third one is expectation of x square so how if expectation of x is summation x f of x so what is expectation of x square that would be summation x square into f of x okay so let us find out expectation of x square into f of x so what is it this is same as minus 2 square into 1 by 3 plus 3 square into 1 by 2 plus 1 square into 1 by 6 okay solve this to get expectation of x square as 6 so we are getting expectation of x square is 6 that is the third one now what is the fourth one that we have to find out expectation of x square plus 5x so expectation of x square plus 5x is some uh, expectation of x square plus 5 times expectation of x so what is it expectation of x square is 6 plus 5 times expectation of x is 1 so answer is 11 very simple okay fifth one is uh, expectation of what is it expectation of 2x plus 7 plus expectation of x square not a big deal what is expectation of 2x plus 7 2 times expectation of x plus 7 actually this expectation of 2x plus 7 can be written as 2 times expectation of x plus 7 into expectation of 1 expectation of 1 is 1 expectation of constant is outside okay expectation of 1 is 1 plus expectation of x square so what are the values 2 into expectation of x is 1 plus 7 plus expectation of x square is 6 so this comes out to be 15 okay yeah expectation of this now the sixth one that we can find out is expectation of or sorry not expectation this time it's a variance so what is variance of x do you know the definition variance of x is nothing but expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square 
What is expectation of x square? Just we have found out that 6 minus what is expectation of x whole square? Expectation of x is 1, 1 square is 1. So this comes out to be 5. Is it? And the last one, which is the seventh one, which we have to find out as sigma x, that is the standard deviation. So what is standard deviation is under root of variance of x, which is under root of 5. Okay, so this completes this problem. So I hope uh, you like it because the example on discrete random variable anyway is a simple problem. We just need to do some uh, brainstorming or some brain exercise uh, to solve the problems on continuous random variable. Okay, so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day.